Eight and seven Miami travels to seven and eight New England. The question in this game is Tua Tagovailoa going to be able to play? He's in the third concussion protocol of the season. His backup is Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy One Glove. If Teddy Bridgewater plays this game and starts this game, I still think Miami has a chance. But New England's defense is outstanding. The key is their offense just can't put up any points. They don't have anybody at wide receiver that can make big plays. They rely on Ramadre Stevenson, the running back. He's done a terrific job running the football for them. Quarterback Mac Jones is ticked off still at the offensive coaches because they don't have an offensive coordinator. This is probably going to be one of those low-scoring games. It's going to be interesting to see if Tua plays. I don't think he will in this one, Coach. But New England's a two-and-a-half-point favorite at home. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, you know, let's remember New England beat them earlier in the year. I, I think that New England has played better than I anticipated, Mark. Their defense has been outstanding. And you mentioned they don't have an offensive coordinator. They don't have any direction on offense. They have no real leadership, so to speak, from my point of view. And I don't think Jones can lead them to victory under that. I, I think the fact that uh, Miami Dolphins have, uh, you know, Tyree Hill, who is just the most exciting receiver in the country. I think that Bridgewater has been a starter. I think he's quite capable of, of stepping in there and leading them to victory, and I think they win. The Dolphins win this game 31-27, and I think that uh, I have been surprised, no doubt, with the Patriots, but if you don't have a designated offensive coordinator, you don't have a plan, your quarterback is, is sort of floating around without great leadership, it's really hurt him. I hate to say that, but the defense for New England and their special teams has been a pleasant surprise, but they lose this game 31-27. Well, Miami's lost four in a row, so they've got to get their monkey off their back. And I look at this game, it doesn't matter who's going to be quarterback. They have so many offensive weapons on the outside. You mentioned Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. Those guys have so much speed on the outside for Miami. I think that's going to be a big problem for this New England defense. But I think the key for Miami is they ran the ball effectively against Green Bay when they wanted to. They did against Buffalo when they wanted to, but they just pulled back from the running game. If they continue to stick with the run with Teddy Bridgewater in this game and take their shots deep in this game with their wide receivers on the outside, I think Miami finds a way to win this game. It ends up being 9-7 and seven going on the last weekend of the season. Take Miami in the two and a half. I got Miami winning this game 26-21. to 21. 